The Starship Troopers franchise has been one of the underrated sci-fi gems from the 1990s, which went on to become a cult classic over the years. Paul Verhoeven's unique storyline about a group of young men and women training to fight giant alien bugs attempting to destroy Earth was a veiled dig towards a fascist future world. These gigantic bugs have been shrouded in mystery, and many of their features and true natures have been up to the fan theories and logical inferences. In this video, we will take you through 10 such mysteries and try to unravel them across the narrative. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. What is the true origin of the bugs? The bugs always remain a mysterious alien species because the precise nature of their origin is never revealed in the original novel or the subsequent movie adaptations and spin-off TV series. We are just told that this extraterrestrial species hails from Klendathu, and the terrain of this mysterious planet is never explored in the novel. The movie suggests that Klendathu is a dark blue planet with two moons around it, and it is a desert world deemed unsuitable to sustain life. So how did the bugs set up residence in this strange terrain and how could they adapt to a life in such hostile conditions? We are also kept in the dark regarding how these alien bugs came into existence in the first place. A popular fan theory suggests that an unexplained space radiation created such creatures from menial bugs that used to inhabit Klendathu. The exposure to this radiation caused mutations to create these higher life forms. However, we have to also consider that in the original novel, the bugs are considered to be highly susceptible to radiation and chemical attacks. It could either mean that a space radiation cannot have created these creatures, or that they became vulnerable to radiation after their already mutated state. Whatever the case, the true origins of this unique species remain a mystery that we would have loved to get some more clarity on. Holy shit! Are the bugs intelligent creatures or mindless killing machines? The bugs are portrayed more as mindless, savage insects in the movies, but the novel version suggests that these bugs are an advanced species who have their own spacecraft, specialized beam weapons, and advanced technology. So what is their true nature? Here you need to consider that both the movie and the novel version of the creature talks about how the bugs have an elaborate caste system with a hierarchical structure. Could a mindless species form such a social structure in the first place. Secondly, we have to consider the possibility of their space travel, which we will cover in the next subhead, a feature that requires a certain degree of advancement to accomplish. What can be safely inferred is that there is more to these bugs than just some animalistic tendencies and traits. The warrior bugs, one of the subspecies, seem to be almost as intelligent as humans in battles, and they have several strategies to overwhelm their enemies. Do they just fight on pure instinct, or is it a larger brain at work? That being said, there are certain aspects about the creatures that make you wonder if they have any form of intelligence. The bugs are almost emotionless and show no compassion for other members of their species. This can also be seen from their tendency to not retreat unless there is absolutely no chance of winning. With information and indication on both sides of the balance, it remains to be confirmed whether or not these bugs are intelligent creatures or instinct driven than once, and we would love to know which side of the debate you support. How are the bugs capable of space travel? How did they travel to attack Earth? Among the various species of these alien creatures, the transport bug is probably one of the most important ones with respect to the story. This is the secret that allows the species to travel through space, and this breed of bug can travel through a vacuum and serve as a mode of transport for the creatures. It is a form of organic starship, and the gigantic transport bugs can fly both in an atmosphere and in space. They make use of water to travel through space, and what remains as the biggest mystery here is how the transport bug developed to become like the creature it is. Did the bugs come together to develop a specialized form, or is the transport bug more of an organic vessel that lacks sentience? Now coming to another big question that has been tormenting the fans of the franchise. How did the bugs manage to travel to Earth? It has been mentioned that the Klendathu system is on the other side of the galaxy, almost a hundred thousand 
thousand light years away, and there seems to be no way for the transport bug to undergo a journey that far. Since the creatures did not have any other systems of space travel, there are various theories ranging from how it was all a conspiracy of the militaristic humans, or how it could have been an accidental asteroid strike that propelled them towards the Earth. It could also be possible that they used some kind of space-time loop to travel such a great distance to hit Earth, and this would once again go on to hint at the intelligence of the species. How do the brain bugs control other bugs, and what is the true extent of their psychic abilities, exploring the communication skills of the bugs? The hierarchical structure of the bug colony is extremely dependent on the brain bugs and their management, because these subspecies serve as their leaders. They serve as the hive brain for the entire colony, and they direct the forces against any enemy threat. The brain bugs are physically defenseless themselves, and they depend entirely on their workers and the warriors to survive. Their bloated bodies are almost entirely an elaborate nervous system, and this is easily the most sentient and human-like entity among the bugs in terms of thinking. However, we never get a clear idea as to how the brain bugs control the other bugs. The novel hints at their telepathic ability to communicate with the entire colony, and the near-symbiotic relationship the colony. The extent of this relationship is such that the brain bugs getting killed means that the entire colony falls. So what is the true extent of their psychic abilities? We have seen in the movies that the brain bug can steal information from the minds of other beings by penetrating into their brain. But how does it communicate with the rest of the colony members? We believe that the bugs have an interlinked brain, which is triggered by the thinking and actions of the brain bugs. This also answers the question about the intelligence of the bugs, and it could be that their intelligence is solely derived from such higher subspecies like the brain bug. There could also be a secret communication system that passes on the instructions to the rest of the colony, and the reason that the colony dies after the death of the brain bug is because they are not capable of independent thinking or decision making. The communication between the bugs can also be carried out by some pheromones secreted by the higher ranked subspecies that allow the others to pick up the message. This is noticed quite often in the animal world, and could well be the way the bugs communicate. We might speculate about the true extent of the brain bug's telepathic abilities and intelligence but the actual fact continues to elude us in the canon. The mystery behind the exact functioning of their biology. We get quite a detailed look at various subspecies in the bug colony, the warrior bugs, tanker bugs, brain bugs, and several other types that form the unique alien species all have their characteristic features and traits that separate them from the others. However, we are still left in the dark when it comes to the detailed workings of their biological system. Their arms and limbs and physical structures are visible enough, but we rarely get to see their internal organs and how they work. Do the bugs have a human-like biological system with a heart and lungs, or is it some unique alien feature that we are clueless about? We also never get to know how the bugs are able to survive in space. The running theory is that the transport bug has some special adaptations that enable it to survive in a vacuum, and the others that remain within are protected just like humans are within a spacecraft. Apart from these, certain other aspects of their biology are also quite unclear. For instance, we do get a glimpse of the life cycle of the bugs, but there is no definitive answer to clarify the doubts regarding the various stages of their lives. It would have been great to find more insights into the subsequent movie or TV series, but maybe the creators did not want to delve into such complexities. What exactly is the social structure among the bugs? We have already established that the bugs live in a eusocial society, which is similar in nature to that of the ants or bees. But we are never given a clear outline of the social structure that exists here. For example, the viewers are told about the brain bugs controlling the colony, but we don't get to see how the subordinates work or how the hierarchy chain goes down to the bottom of the ranks. We have no clue about how the different bug classes function and what the roles are for each and every division. The division of labor could have multiple leadership roles at various stages, or they could be governed by the top tier only, and there is no way to specify the exact conditions. Thus, the social structure among the bugs remains a mystery, and all we can say for sure is that the creatures have a set system based on an uneven distribution of power and thinking abilities. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do the alien bugs consume for nourishment? No species can survive without nourishment. And given the great numbers and social structure of the alien bugs, they need to have an elaborate food chain. This takes us to a very different social structure elaborated in the prequel comics, where the hierarchy among the bugs indicates a feeding chain. The bottom ranking bugs fight each other for dominance, and they even consume their own kind of A higher ranked bug will eat a warrior bug, and they have been shown to consume dead opponents in certain instances. However, what seems to be the most convincing answer for the mystery about the food habits of the bugs is that they have harvested some kind of livestock species which can be consumed on a regular basis. Cannibalism cannot be a solution to their constant need for nutrition and consuming their dead is surely not the permanent fix. Since their network system and social structure are so similar to ants, it is quite likely that the bugs have subterranean farms which are used to process the food for them. kind of environments helped their evolution. Every species evolves into a certain form over the years, and it is safe to assume that something similar happened to these alien bugs as well. They might have grown from an inferior state to reach the higher life forms that they are in the movies. We cannot help but wonder what kind of an evolutionary process they underwent to reach this state. More importantly, did their surrounding environment help their evolution somehow? We have spoken about how their home planet was deemed to be unfit for sustaining life, and yet here they are, a thriving species with a mysterious workforce and subdivisions in the society. Did the desert environment contribute to the hardiness of the bugs? We have often observed that life forms that evolved under the most extreme conditions seem to have the most adaptive features. It could be something similar for the bugs as well. Also, there is a slight possibility that the various types of bugs that we usually identify collectively as the arachnids could actually be different species working in harmony for a unified cause. The evolution of the bugs has probably been kept a mystery purposely because of the scope that it offers in terms of how the creatures can behave and what they can accomplish. How do the bugs choose their targets for colonization? The arachnids or the alien bugs are initially portrayed as a hostile alien race who have captured various planets across the galaxy. They have almost established an empire where they have allies and multiple colonies to take their fight against the United Citizen Federation that is dominated by humans. But we consider the larger possibility of them being more than senseless creatures, we cannot ignore the fact that the bugs probably have a way to pick their targets. There must be certain underlying factors that motivate them to colonize a particular planet and look past another, and these factors are never discussed or clarified. We can assume that the fight is mostly for natural resources and what the bugs need to survive, and maybe their targets have something that the creatures find alluring enough to invade. What is the exact reproductive process among the bugs? How are the specialized bug forms produced? One of the great mysteries of the Starship Troopers franchise lies in the shocking breeding speed of these creatures. The bugs are able to replace their dead in no time, which makes them such a dreaded force to fight. But what exactly is the reproductive process that they undergo? Nothing is clearly stated in the novel or the movies and TV shows, but certain things can be inferred from the social structure of the bugs. The queen bug, which is much larger than the other bugs probably lays eggs, and these eggs rapidly hatch into various types of bugs. However, it still doesn't answer how the specialized bug forms exist, and whether or not they have mastered genetic engineering to create subspecies according to their requirements. If this turns out to be the case, we have to say that the bugs are probably one of the most intelligent species in the galaxy, contrary to what many perceive them as. How long is the natural lifespan of the bugs? Once again, this is one aspect of the creatures that we know very little about. While we have been told about the great strength in numbers of the bugs, we have no idea about their exact natural lifespan. They are usually killed in combat, and some die from the infighting within the species for supremacy amidst the ranks. But what happens to those who manage to survive the odds? Do they live indefinitely if an external force does not influence their death? We have seen nothing in the franchise 
evidence that suggests otherwise. But this seems to be an outrageous condition, especially because the bugs are not immortal creatures. What we can infer is that the alien species can survive for a very long duration of time, maybe decades or hundreds of years, unless they are somehow killed in their colonization efforts. Although all these mysteries are an integral part of the bug life, they also add to the interest in the franchise. The unexplained element actually allows the fans to come together and set up a few theories of their own, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Do let us know in the comments below what you think of these mysteries around Starship Troopers and also tell us about your own personal opinion on them.